a year ago today, 18 year old Haley Hines was hit and killed by a suspected drunk driver on New Cut Road. On the anniversary of her death, her family and friends came together to honor her. Wave News reporter David Ochoa has more. Yeah, Haley's family is still feeling her loss, but adding to their pain is the lack of justice for her death. Haley Hines, uh, she died right here. Um, Haley Hines' mother struggles to find words a year after Haley's death. I mean, she was a good person. She was, she made everybody small and I just that miss her a lot. Haley was just 18 years old when a suspected drunk driver crashed into her car on Newcut Road. My daughter, Amanda, back there, her sister, she's the one that called me screaming, Haley's dead, Haley's dead. And I'm like, no, no, it, this can't be. The scene? just minutes away from her mother's house. Well, I live two miles from here, and it's, you know, when I have to go to the bank, I always have to go, you know, Dixie Highway, because it's just hard to drive past here and just have flashbacks of, you know, what happened. And one year later, Haley's friends and family are still waiting for justice. And every time we go to court, it's rip open another mandate and bleed some more again, because it's been a year. He spent one night or two in jail, and that was it. Eric Johnson was charged with murder, assault, and wanton endangerment. Over the last year, there's been a lot of back and forth between the defense and prosecution about Johnson's case, from lowering of his bond to being placed on HIP with mental health checkups. And as the case continues, Haley's family says they're tired of court dates with no action. He, he faces us every time. He comes in walking comes in free. Greeny. So that's the thing that we're having trouble with. We want justice for Haley. Love you, Haley. Love you, Haley. Johnson's next court date will be in January 2024. David Ochoa, Wave News. Thanks, David.